Thinking that it was a dead cell that wouldn't take a charge anymore off the Ryobi battery pack, this 18650 cell was reading almost zero volts. And it actually made didn't make sense because the harder I pushed sometimes it gave me a little bit of a slightly slightly better reading, but not much. Still way below one volt. So it wasn't one volt, it was less than point zero. Well, it's 0 .04, 0 0.05 volts. Basically, it was a dead battery. And it might not be for every battery, but there is a button under this button. And if it pops up, it creates a dead battery. There is no contact to the positive side of the terminal. And the way around that is... Under this button, there's another button that pops up, which will disconnect the positive off the base of this button top. And the trick is to get something that is skinny enough, and I'm using a soldering dental pick tool. If you can see it here, I'm just trying to get some, uh, there we go. Now. It's just what I happen to have. You can use a small, skinny screwdriver or something. I'm not going to be using the pointy end of that. More or less. I'm trying to slide it under and gently push down. So I'm going to go under the slots here. See, I'm trying to... My stand broke. So I'm going to go under... there On this battery, there are three spaces under this button that I'm going to push this under and gently push it down and I'm doing that on all three sides and once you get it under there you're gonna I'm not trying to use the pointy end I don't want to puncture anything just trying to get it under like I said if you have a small skinny screwdriver which I had one here so there it is Now this is a little bit too wide to get under there. But if you have something smaller than this and you go under, if I can focus here, you can see there's spots on the battery that there's are three tabs holding this button up. And under that is another button that will pop up for safety. Now why it popped up, I do not know. So the thing is to get something between this metal and the bottom part. And you're going to push down underneath this button. I did it on all three sides, push it down, and then I put it in the battery charger. And this is a uh, spare one. Because I took apart the battery pack of the Ryobi already. I needed the batteries. I didn't. I don't have a Ryobi tool, so I didn't really care. And this is now the battery that was the dead one. And it actually charged up. It was actually almost fully charged. It had a charge of 3.9 volts, and it's working. So simple fix, easy. Not for every battery. If it's a truly dead battery, you might have to slow trickle charge it to get it to go up again. That is another way of uh, reviving a battery is to slow trickle charge it up. And once it reaches uh, one and a half, two volts, you can uh, give it a higher amperage voltage as a charge to get it to at least 2.8 volts. And then the charger should accept a 2.8 volt lithium ion battery to charge. So this before, putting in here, it would not light up at all. It was a dead battery. It wouldn't recognize it as a battery. It wouldn't recognize anything. It was just no lights, no warning, no nothing. And once I uh, went under that button and depressed what's under there, which is another button, pushing it down, made a contact. So now this positive button is connected internally to the battery so that's a simple fix try it out be careful not to short it out don't puncture anything at the bottom and good luck